Hi guys, it's Sarah from Allcraft TV. Today I wanted to share with you all this tutorial on how to crochet a bikini top. This bikini top is simple to make and uses the pico stitch around the edges to give the bikini a pretty design. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button to keep up to date with my crocheting tutorials. And with that, let's get crocheting. I will be using Moda Vera cotton yarn, a four millimeter hook, yarn needle, and scissors. To begin, we need to make a slip knot. I am using two strands of yarn because it is a preference of mine. We need to chain six plus one, or from the base of your breast up to your nipple. So if you want the cup to be larger, I recommend chaining anywhere from eight to 10 chains plus one. But this is a top for a small bust, so I don't need to chain as many. Into the second chain from the hook, single crochet one. Into the next four stitches, single crochet one in each chain, or until you have one chain left. Now that there is one chain left, we need to single crochet three into that chain. That's one single crochet, two single crochets, and three single crochets. Turn the work like this to be able to work in the other direction. We need to do one single crochet in each stitch, so that will be five single crochets. This is what the work should look like for round one. For round two, we need to chain one and turn our work. Into the very first stitch, we need to do one single crochet into that stitch so that there aren't any gaps in the bikini top. Now single crochet one in each stitch for a total of six single crochets. These here are the three middle single crochets that we did for round one. And into this very middle single crochet, we need to do three single crochets into that stitch. So in this stitch here, do three single crochets. That's one single crochet. two single crochets, and three single crochets. Now we need to work back down the side, putting one single crochet into each stitch for a total of six single crochets. To make the bikini top as large as you need it, you only need to repeat round two. So for the next round, chain one and turn your work. Into the very first stitch, single crochet one. Now single crochet one into the next six stitches to get to the middle stitch. Into this top middle stitch, we need to single crochet three. It should start to form a point at the top of the bikini. That's one single crochet, two single crochets, and three single crochets. Working back down the side, we need to single crochet one in each stitch to finish round three. It 
If you just keep repeating row 2, then you will end up with a larger cup like this one. So it will grow in height and in length. You will need to make two cups the exact same, but I will leave one cup still attached to the ball of yarn. With the cup that is still attached, chain two. Line the other cup up with this one and slip stitch into its corresponding stitch to join the two cups together. We are going to work around the edge of the left cup first. So chain one and into the same stitch single crochet one. Now to do a pico, chain three, slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. Into the next stitch along the edge of the cup, single crochet one. Now chain three, slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. And single crochet one into the next stitch along. Now chain three, slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. and single crochet one into the next stitch along. This is what your edging should be looking like. We need to just do the pico edging all the way up the side of the cup, then back down. So I will let you finish this off and I will meet you back down at the bottom corner. I am near the bottom corner. So I need to chain three, slip stitch into the third chain from the hook and single crochet one into the last stitch. Now there is a nice pico edging around the cup. Along the bottom of the cups, we are just going to do a simple single crochet until we get back to the edge of the next cup. So just place one single crochet in every space along the bottom of the cups. Place two single crochets along the chain of two. Now do the same amount of single crochet ones that you did for the first cup into the second cup. This row of single crochet just helps to form a nice straight edge at the bottom of the bikini top.
I am nearly at the corner of the second cup. And now that I am, we just need to do the picot edging around the side of the cup. To do this, we need a single crochet one into the first stitch. Now chain three. Slip stitch into the third chain from the hook and into the next stitch, single crochet one. So chain three. Slip stitch into the third chain from the hook and now into the next stitch, single crochet one. Repeat this all the way around the edge of the bikini cup. I am nearly finished the second cup. To finish the cups, we just need to single crochet one into the last stitch, then slip stitch and pull up the yarn and cut it off. There is now a lovely picot edging around the bikini cups. The only thing left to do is to make the chains that will go around your waist and neck. So we need to make a slip knot and attach the yarn to this corner stitch. Now chain as many as you need to be able to go around your waist and back and tie it up at your back. I chained a total of 105. Once you have chained your desired amount, just go ahead and slip stitch back on the chain to make the chain stronger. And do this until you get to the bikini cups. Now slip stitch and pull up the loop. I will leave you to do the same thing on the other side. We need to work on the chains that will go around our neck. So make a slip knot. Turn the top of the cup over like this and attach the yarn through the back so that it isn't showing. Now chain your desired amount. I chained about a hundred. Once you have your chain, slip stitch back on the chain like we did before until you get back to the cup. Now slip stitch into the cup and pull up the loop. Do the exact same thing on the other side. And this is your finished product. A bikini top with a pico edging 
two strands to tie around your neck and two strands to tie around your waist. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching, have a lovely day, I will see you next time.